All right, morning guys. On the beach this morning, it looks pretty good. So we're gonna take the kayak out there and uh, see what we can catch. Um, if you have ocean weather, I'm going ocean fishing, right? All rigged up for a bunch of different stuff. And let's see what we can find out there. one right here. And that water feels pretty warm already. Right, I got some some bluefish here or something like that to catch for bait. All right, is that what that is? Small Spanish, those work too. Mighty sharky of me. Doesn't feel like anything good. I guess this is where I can go ahead and title this video The Biggest Fish on the Biggest Bait in the Most Dangerous Place the ocean, and then I'll put parentheses, unbelievable. What do you guys think about that? It's a shark, 100%. Check those fins up, yep. Kind of shark is it guys? I don't know. Not one I want. Maybe we'll get T-boned by a bull shark. Won't get real interesting here because he ain't that big. I hate these things on the kayak, man. They're just not fun. I save all their energy. When they get to you, yeah. Yeah, some generic black tip shark there. Oh, these fucking things. All right, that's a lot of treble hooks. All right, this is how you do this quicker. Those eagle, those little lousy eagle claw. Troubles will rust out in a day. I know some snowflake is super uh, upset. He's got a, a hook in him. Easier for me, easier for the fish. It's been a decent amount of sharks this year, it seems like. <laughs> in a lot of places I'm going. So, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try it a couple more times. I'm trying to fish these out of a black tip shark. It's pretty, pretty dangerous in my opinion. Not seeing much life on the beach, so I'm gonna head out to some structure. See if there's anything better out there. All right, I'm gonna have a hard time today, I think. I've seen quite a few sharks around, you know, black tips. Some are following the kayak. Got this giant chatterbait I'm gonna try. Let's see if anything comes up on the surface while we wait. Try to find some of these spade fish. Should be around somewhere. Dropping the chatterbait to the bottom here. Real nat, loud, noisy jig. Drop. 
drop, I think. Hate that chatterbait. Ah, uh, that's no drum, I know what that is. So it begins. Flatties, oh boy. That's not what we want. Things are going to be impossible to fish through, I have a feeling. Oh, well, there, there we go. He gave me, gave me a nice quick release. Jigging a one ounce chatterbait here. This is usually drum around by now, but I mean at this point still, but it's a pretty good one. That's a nice fish. That's what he ate. It's a pretty big lure. <laughs> it's only a big drum lure. Seen guys catch Kobe on these before too in uh, Florida. So, all right, first drop was flounder. Um, I'm gonna try to hit a couple spots that sometimes produce red drum quickly, and then I don't know, give it another 30, 40 minutes, see if something changes out here. It's pretty quiet out. I guess I always try to catch something to troll around with, right? Pinfish or bluefish. Pinfish isn't ideal, but I think those will work occasionally. Chatterbait, bring me good luck. He's on there. Toadfish. No, it's another flounder. I gotta move from this spot. As soon as I catch a flounder on that spot, I'm gonna move. I don't wanna torture these poor guys. Since they're endangered, right? Let me net them and be nice to them. I normally flip this guy in, but I'm supposed to take nice care of these fish, right? Yeah, I haven't been ocean fishing as heavily this year, so I'm not dialed in. I'm just hoping there's gonna be a couple of drum left around, but this might be what I'm finding today. If you're in the other 12 coastal states, you can fish for flounder. Well, there you go, try a chatterbait. Seems like it works pretty well. Kicks off a lot of vibration, and unlike a spinnerbait, you can vertically jig this a lot easier. That's kind of the, the downfall of the spinnerbait. It's pretty hard to jig those things. This thing, this blade doesn't get in the way of the sinking action. And it kicks off a lot of flash. It's got good hardware on it. So something fun. I'm sure the bluefish will crush these if you're in one of those states. Usually the reds come down and if you pull up on a spot that's got a couple, they'll, they'll usually clobber your lure pretty quickly. They do tend to bite early in the morning when the this time of year. We see some birds starting to work out there. Oh, we got fish out there, guys. I don't know if it's Spanish or what, but let's go chase them down. It looks a lot better than the bullshit I'm doing. All right, I think I got a good body of Spanish mackerel up here and try to get on them with this epoxy jig. Could be Albies, too. They're sometimes around. But hey, let's find out. Oh, that was a bigger fish in the mix there. Decent fish, man. See them all sir frothing here. This might be Albies, I don't know. He ate that epoxy jig though. Alright, man. Fine by me. fish under me too. He's got 
some size. Oh, how did a, a gift wrapped in him? My bad, dude. Oh, yeah. False albacore, huh? All right. False albacore on an epoxy jig. Not quite, uh, not quite what I thought I was going to catch today. All right. A little football there. It's not definitely not what I thought I was going to catch today. All right. Let's get back on him. This is a 5 8 ounce epoxy jig on this pen spin fisher. Time. Had to get away from the stink pot. School Albies. That's them under the kayak right there. All swimming around underneath it. Unlike the Atlantic Veneta I was eating the other, other video, these guys are not really considered edible. Oh, well, I know they're moving this way, so I guess I can keep trying to find them. We've got albies all year here in North Carolina for the most part. Sizes vary, etc. Sometimes giant ones get on the beach, but summertime I expect them to be smaller. But quite great. Can't complain about that, right? All right, let me get on them. Ooh, ooh, didn't hit that time. They are finicky, man. Like they're frothing pretty good. And I didn't really land it where I needed to there. That time, this time I should hook up. Really got to get into them. So we've got sharks, flounder we can't keep, and fish we probably don't want to eat on a 85 degree summer day with 81 degree water. All right, but what you're talking about, Elias, false albacore is good eating. Yeah, depends. It depends on your school of thought, but whatever, to each their own. This is better than impaling. We'll see something interesting follow our Albion. Brown, brown bomber, potentially. Yeah, this, this, this boat gave me a nice wake for my for my pleasure there. That was very nice of you. <sighs> Thanks, man. This is, this is why kayak fishing sucks. Right? Got a hundred things going on here. Got this guy. All right. <laughs> little, little footballs. All right, that's three false albacore. I'm going to leave them alone. So let's see if we can find some drum or something that pulls a little harder. Those are cute, but... Let's see if we can find something that can really pull. All right, next move here. Oh, I'm gonna retrieve bluefish. Spanish, there they are. You guys don't want to surface today. It's a good spot. It's funny when they just don't 
ever surface. I don't want to troll because I'm not into the trolling, but maybe I should. Kind of an average side Spanish. That's a Spanish mackerel. It's a fish you can eat. This should be something different right here. Oh my gosh, it's a pompano. You gotta be kidding me. Giant pompano on an epoxy jig. Oh my gosh, oh my goodness. That's an insane pompano. I've never caught one that big on a... Dude, that is the biggest pompano I've ever seen. This one's definitely coming home with us. Ocean pompano jigging, huh? That's a pompano, right? Gosh. Oh my God, is that an apartment? Oh gosh, I'm gonna be so dumb on this because I'm not gonna know. I think that's a pompano. Absolute monster pompano. Monster. Awesome. <laughs> 35 feet. I always wondered if you catch these fish out deep. It's a stud. For a second, I wasn't sure if this was gonna be a permit, but his, uh, his fin's not high up enough, I believe. That's not something I catch a whole lot out in the ocean. <laughs> We're pumping up. Uh, ate an epoxy jig. I was just catching junk fish off the bottom. All right, to the fork, 16 inches, 19 to the tip. Stud of a pompano, man. Here's your mid-morning update. Uh, I got a live bluefish on there. Got a 19-inch pompano, definitely a citation pompano. That's awesome. That's <laughs> catch one jigging. Trying to avoid the flounder. I'm kind of exploring and fishing, fishing sandy stuff right now. Um, that pompano was on that. I was hoping that maybe that could be a pattern. I could get a couple more, but no. I was drawing the sea bass kind of really off the structure. But let me try a couple more tricks here. Let's see if we get another pompano or two. different there oh yeah good fish could be another pump I'm thinking it might be it's running around like it is fooling me like that man same spot I caught the pump and I was, um, was holding out hope maybe with a little bit of luck I was gonna get another one but I definitely don't have another Pumping it on here. I've got myself the raggedy cocktail bluefish. Gosh, he got me in a bad spot there. Where's my scissors? Cut my pants first. Oh, golly. All right. Well, good enough. Thanks, raggedy bluefish. Almost injured me. It's not your fault, though. You're designed to do that. Trolling through this tide line with my live bluefish. Asking for a shark. I truly am. I only got that one shark in the morning. I thought it was going to be absolutely miserable with sharks. There's been some kings around, but nothing crazy. That looks like a shark to me. Biggest shark ever. All right, you got him, buddy. That was black tip or spinner one of the two things seem to have gotten kind of quiet man not seeing as much life now hitting that midday slump too so yeah it's probably probably about that time I'm looking for this brown suited fellow I have not seen much I've seen like three or four sharks in the last hour this is the conditions if I'm gonna see one of these brown suitors it's gonna happen we got to go further out is the problem. All right, I'm going to get back on the beach. Still a pretty nice day out in the ocean. Light boat traffic. Decent fishing, right? I would say that. That was pretty decent. Could keep some flounder, that'd be nice, but 
you know, uh, last year they gave us a derby season, basically. Like, basically having a two-week fishing tournament. Um, so this year, apparently, word on the street is 45 days, one fish per day will be the official. Well, I'll check the video's description links, everything we use. I didn't really try too many different things today. I spent like two hours just sitting and floating, trying to see if anything swims by, aka brown log cobia. The best way to have caught one of those is to have dri driven many hours north of here. When it gets into the 80s, man, the fishing gets hard because everything seems to bite early in the morning, late at night. No, they, well, yeah, they'll bite it late at night. Make sure I'm going home, not somewhere else. Uh, they'll bite late at night, early in the morning, and then midday, man, it is so hard to get fish to bite when the water is that hot. I try to keep the motivation up and try to get out onto the ocean more. Been a uh, feel a little lazy these days just want to relax you know fish the plastic boat fish the pretty days the, the pretty days are really tough sometimes if you're not on those fish really right at first light as soon as that day gets real nice and flat this gets as hard as it it's it's like a winter day out here sometimes man so as always thanks for watching guys i'm gonna get on the beach right now hope you enjoyed what am i supposed what else am i supposed to say for those logarithms um, thanks for watching as always, that one's genuine.